So today or recently, I forget, my, uh, Microsoft Bing has has the, finally added the chat GPT sort of demo here. You can get on the wait list if you want to use it properly, but it has a few options here that you can try. And so we're going to try it. It's the first time I'm trying it, except for a quick one because I got it wrong the first time. Anyway, let's see what happens. So I need to throw a dinner party for six people. We're vegetarian. Can you suggest a three-course menu with a chocolate dessert? Okay. So I think this is what uh, I'm already on the wait list. Yeah, so let's see. So this is what they're demoing. When I first saw, when I just did a basic search, I just saw like, we're, you know, the usual stuff here. I couldn't really tell. Is it better than Google? Anyway, so sure, I can suggest the three. So it's sort of a chat bot and it's giving you, so it's giving you these sources. This is very, very this is actually fantastic. This is really, really good stuff. Um, so the menu you see, and they're sourced here by these um, superscripts. And I hope you hope you enjoy your party. And then we can we can oh we can actually chat. Let's see, can we actually chat? No. Yeah. So in the future we can chat. So let's go back. Um, let's try another one. I'm planning a trip for our anniversary in September. What are some places we can go that are within a three-hour flight from London Heathrow? So you know it seems kind of personalized. Yeah, congrats on your anniversary. Thanks, Bing. Never thought I'd ever say that. There are many places you can go. Here are some suggestions. If you like beaches, you can fly to Malaga. I hope I'm saying that in Spain. Southern climate, mountains and lakes. Annecy, France. France. If you like art and history. Florence. Florence. Firenze. Renaissance. Florence is a treasure trove. Blah, blah, blah. Hope this helps have a wonderful anniversary. I mean, these are all planned, right? I mean, they've got these. I like this. I like this format. If it can always work, I mean, that's that's great. That seems like a very logical thing to be using ChatGPT to do. So, that's some great ideas, toddler. So this is so that this one is kind of like a. Just uh, you know, the kind of prompt you would give uh, as a sort of a general idea, not necessarily a chat. Uh, da da da. And last but not least, I think from last one we did this. Crafts plan meal workout. Uh oh. Okay, this is a tricky one. Let's see what it does. I mean, it's already pre-prepared, but already prepared. Uh, based on what. I like watching it type, you know, I don't want to, I kind of, I prefer, it's better than just boom, there's the answer, you know, I like seeing it kind of type it out, it's, you know, more personal. One, 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 so you, it's already got, so th is this one? Let me see, four week, is it, is that how it's, oh, it doesn't tell you. Okay, one pop sugar dot com. is that pop sugar? Oh, looks like it. So I think it's kind of in order to. They're kind of siphoning off the search results. Now, from what I understand, Google's BERT already does like that's what makes those paragraphs. I guess these kinds of paragraphs, but a bit different. Cool down, pop sugar, eleven more sources. Four, two. Oh, that must just be the search results. Anyway, pop sugar, thirty minute no equipment. That's your YouTube, hmm, which is connected to the pop sugar. Anyway, that is the demo, the demonstration that Microsoft has given us. I approve, very interesting, very cool. And I am excited to see these new chat wars. Take care.